Legal Product Management is um, it's a kind of new discipline in law. It's been around for many years in, di in a different disciplines or different industries, as engineering, construction, or manufacturing. And Legal Product Management, what it does is that uh, it's a set of frameworks and a set of disciplines that they have different names. It could be Six Sigma, Waterfall, Agile, that will help you to be more efficient and more effective in the way you deliver legal services. I'm a Chilean lawyer living in Barcelona for four years now. I'm a legal project manager and a legal innovator enthusiast. And they actually complement each other very, very well. For me, legal project management is all about taking action in an orderly and organized way. But in order to do that, you need to have a research first and you need to understand your user and you need to understand or ideate a, a given product, process or, or service. In order to do that, there is where I say that legal design thinking comes like a, to save the day in order to give you a lot of tools that you need to put in place to understand what are the scope of the project, which is the most important part of a project. Any given project needs a start and you need to understand why you're going to start working on it. And for that, sometimes you, you don't have that information up front. If you are lucky enough, you will have a very very nice and very polished scope and you start working from there. But sometimes you need to go on the field and gather this information. And that's where legal design thinking comes to help you with all these set of tools and techniques. The class is gonna be legal project management by design. The main uh, goal of this class is to teach students or whoever is interested in it, in how to apply uh, legal project management into legal design, how they come together and how they complement well, as I said before, for a very practical way. I want to have a lot of examples and case studies. I don't want to go into that much theoretical part. I, I want to have like a set of takeouts for the students that they can actually can start applying it right away after the class. Because as I said also, you know, legal project management is not rocket science. It's something that's very easy and intuitive to actually apply. And I think it, it works perfectly well for legal design thinking and in order to achieve better outcomes, better documents, better improves everything that you do in the service of, of, of law. The most important thing I would like them to know is how to uh, identify issues, for example, what we call the lean, for example, wastes. What are the issues or pain points in the service you provide that could be redesigned, for example, or could be improved by applying the different legal design thinking and legal trade management techniques.